I just wanted to say that I thought Steve did a great job trying to convince mom, you know, that people live their lives in different ways and that it's tragic that um, the mom can't realize that it's so hard to find somebody that you're comfortable with and you love and that she should feel lucky that, you know, her daughter found somebody that she should share her life with. And it's not as, as easy as just finding a man and Loki seems like a great girl. They seem like a match made in heaven, so it's too bad if mom can't end up recognizing that, even if it does take her three years. I just like to address the mother. Um, I think she should be respectful of the decisions that the daughter makes, because in the end, she still loves her and she needs to be in her life. I hope that this show will help other people come out and don't stay in the closet and let your parents know. And like I said, if they don't accept you, somebody else will. But don't be afraid to be who you are. A mother should not uh, put their child aside because of their race or their creed or their sexuality. That's your child, that's it. You don't have to like who they like, but you can accept who they like. And it's, it's sad because so many people children kill themselves because of this rejection and it hurts it really hurts so to Janice and Loki y'all stay together you be with your wife because that's your wife that's your son you love your son if your mother doesn't accept you it's okay because somebody else will I accept you I love you so to the mother just just get over it and just accept your daughter and her wife for who they are and just love them. That's it. My reaction as a parent is I would never want to hear those words coming out of my kids' mouths, but if they did tell me that, I would still accept each one of them. I have a daughter that's 36, I have a son that's 28. I would never want to hear it, but if they came to me personally, whenever, wherever, I would still accept them. They're my children. I gave birth to them. Nine months mean a lot to a mother. After the show, I felt a little ways because um, I, um, I'm also a part of the LBG community, and, um, and I came when I was younger, and um, the bigger part is about family and love. Love has no preference. Love has no gender. If you're in love and somebody says who you are, then I believe you should take that person on because a lot of people out here are hurt and bitter or um, of losing family. And I was, I, mean, I was a part of that stigma of the homosexuality community until my mom understood what really mattered and that was family. People don't have family these days. And, and, and I, don't, I don't think a, a person should turn the child away over a, a sexuality or being transgender or homosexual or you know bisexual. It's about family and love and that's all that matters in my book. It's not easy to accept a person that's in the LGBT community, but what matters is family. And with fam and family, that's all that matters. I'm probably with the mother, you know, on this one. But I, I took some of Steve's advice, and it did hit me, you know, to the core where, you know, I have to understand that, you know, some people's relationships are going to be different from others, and you should accept it and not reject it. I think Steve gave great advice to the young lady's mother, and I hope she comes around and tries to accept her daughter because, believe me, you know, your daughter's the only thing that you have right now, and you don't get another daughter when they're gone. Uh, my personal opinion, I was agreeing what the mother was saying, totally, 100%. Um, I don't agree with gay uh, stuff like that because I've been around that stuff all my life. Um, and it's not right. You know, if you're born like that, that's one thing, but to be accepted is another. And most people is not going to accept that, just like the mother was saying. She's totally against that, and I agree with it because I'm the same way. You know, and it's not meant for another man to be with another man or another woman to be with another woman. I don't, I don't, I don't, I just don't agree with that, you know. And that's what's wrong with the world today. There's so much of that stuff going on, it's everywhere you go, so, but what do you do? So, you know, I'm, I'm just hoping that they can really come to some conclusion and finally get their life back on track because right now it's not. I just want to say that I feel that Steve, they neglected to, to think about the part. I'm on the mother's side. I just want to say that I feel sad for that little kid, that poor little kid that has to call a lady daddy, that that would be so confusing for a child. I, it's all right what the parents want to do for themselves, 
But it's just about the little child, what that child is going to be raised up with the confusion of not knowing who's mommy and who's daddy. You know, and that's the only part that I'm really concerned about. I feel that Steve did a good job with how he handled the situation, talking to the mom and everything. But they never brought up the subject of the child growing up in a confused family situation, calling a lady daddy. That's the only part that I don't understand. And that's the part that got me a little angry about this whole situation, that they, ne they need to think about the child and not just what they want to do. They say they're in love, but I feel that they're in lust, not in love.